Hello again. I'm the amazing drinking chef, Carl, and uh, today I'm going to be making a lasagna. Now, if you're the kind of person that loves eating ready meals from the supermarket that, let's face it, tastes rubbish and costs more than you think, uh, then this videos, these videos are not really for you. Um, these videos are for people that want to eat really, really good food that tastes absolutely fantastic. They want to, people that want to eat low calorie food that's not pumped full of sugar and not pumped full of salt and not pumped full of fat. You want to, you're going to know what's going into every meal you make. So, without further ado, let's get started on the lasagna with a neat little trick to cut down on the pasta. Basically, you want your ingredients should be slot scrolling across the screen that way, I think. Um, and uh, just a quick update, I've now lost £34 in seven weeks. So things are going okay. £3 this week, £6 last week. Let's hope next week's another £6. But let's get cracking on this lasagna. Right. <clears throat> okay, let's get the mince in. Get a bit of salt and pepper in there. There's no oil in this mince. This is the mince. And a bit of salt and pepper. Okay, right. Tiny, tiny bit of oil. About a teaspoon is fine. And then let's get all the veggies. So that's the onions. And the carrot. See how small the carrots cut up? You want everything. That's the biggest you want anything. Everything's got to be at least that, bit, that small. And the peppers. I've whipped these up in the uh, food processor. Just better do with a bit of salt and pepper in there as well. So there we go. Pepper, salt, balsamic vinegar, teaspoon, no more than that. That is plenty. This is 250 grams of mushrooms in the food processor. Comes out like looking a bit like rice. Get that in there like that. Now, <clears throat> your sun dried tomatoes. In. in with the plum tomatoes. And again, like the other recipe, <clears throat> you want to break those up. Always drain the tomatoes. When you get them in the tin, <clears throat> always drain the tomatoes before you put them in. If you use all the juice that's in the tin, I just find everything goes really, really runny from the water, and you don't want that. You want to get that tomato puree in. Careful to not get it all over the worktop, and you get in trouble. And then in with your fresh herbs, your oregano, thyme, <coughs> and flat leaf parsley. And then in with your dried herbs. Normally I would be using fresh basil, but my fresh basil hasn't grown enough yet. It's still a bit too small. So a teaspoon of dried basil and a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs. The stock cube in there now. Put your stock cube into the mince. Remember there's still no oil in this mince. We're just dry frying it. One last thing to throw into these veg is some garlic. Mix that garlic in. You've got your mince there, dry frying away with the, oxy with the stock cube. And you've got your veggies. Now do you see how much liquid's come out of those tomatoes? If I'd have put the juice from the tin as well, that'd just been all liquid. And that's it basically. All we're gonna do now is transfer this pan into this pan and let that simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. Now this is the tricky bit. Probably best not to do this over your hob. And that went well. and stir that mince in. The more observant of you will have noticed the leak that was there is now there. Now, the leak is your secret weapon to, well, it's not much of a weapon, but it's your secret weapon to lower calories in this lasagna because if you filled it with layers and layers and layers of pasta, you're just adding calories and calories. So, basically, get the leak. Cut the end off. Cut the bottom off. Okay, now, cut it lengthwise, but just slice through one layer. 
Ok? <coughs> As you have a sunny sheet. Ok? We're going to use two, two layers of this and one layer of pasta. What we'll do now, that's it. That's your last one. Don't throw them away. <coughs> Use them as you would spring onions. No problem. Um, <coughs> as I'll just blanch them in some boiling water for about five or ten minutes. That's what it looks like now. It's been simmering there for about Actually, it's been simmering for about 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes, and that's what we've got now. Very similar to the bolognese sauce, slightly different, but very, very similar. These are the um, sheets of leek that we're going to use. All I did was blanch those in some water, and 10 minutes later, take them out, and they basically look like sheets of lasagna. Um, I've got some milk on the go there. You're... 400 millilitres of skim milk. I'm going to make the bechamel sauce now. Okay, the skim milk is getting warm now. Add the cream cheese, Philadelphia, whatever you want to call it, generic brand. Is I've warmed up the skim milk. Um, as it got warm, I added the cream cheese, or the Philadelphia light, whatever you want to use. And then I've gradually added the corn flour. Um, once I have the corn flour, turn the heat off and just keep, just keep whisking it and it only takes three or four minutes. Obviously mix your corn flour with a bit of water before you add it in. Now we can start making the lasagna. So basically take that off the heat. Let's bring this over here. Turn that around and we can see what's happening. And put some of your mixture in the bottom, spread it about, and then get your leek sheets or lasagna leeks, whatever you want to call them. And okay, that's one layer. Also, and this time we'll use some pasta. Don't be afraid to break it and fill all the gaps in. Doesn't have to be the neatest thing in the world. Just fill everything in. Okay, then on top of that we're gonna pour half the bechamel sauce. sheets of leek lasagna. The remaining mixture on top. The rest of that bechamel sauce over the top of that. Your parmesan. And that is basically it. I'm going to put that in the oven now for 25, 30 minutes. Check. As soon as the top's golden brown, it's done. Okay, that's just come out of the oven now. It's been in about 20, 25 minutes and it's perfect. Just cooked right. And that will probably serve four or five people easily. Um, the calories should be up on your screen right now per portion. Right, that's the healthy lasagna done. I um, hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope you make it. And um, I see uh, quite a few of you are watching now the shortened and edited versions of the um, previous recipes on YouTube. Uh, trying to get them all under 10 minutes now. Um, but if you've got any questions or I do something that you don't understand, please put a comment on YouTube or Facebook page and I'll uh, answer it as soon as I can. Uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Okay, bye bye.